Um, hello everyone. So today I I realized um that this is our this is the Lego um Spider Man office thing. Um, it's a stop motion that I have created. It's a series. Uh, go check it out on my YouTube channel. But I've realized that um like a couple days ago my friends told me we don't we don't understand what's going on here and they said that like specifically about part three but i'm just gonna like explain what's going on for anybody that's confused for like all three parts so we're gonna go through all three parts today and i'm gonna like explain the story basically and anything that really pops up so this part right here the first part you can see like the background and it's because I like didn't have that good of um stop motion techniques yet. Um but you can see that the other two stop motion things are very um they're they're a little bit better. I would say my uh stop motion ability has gotten just a little bit better. Um so we're gonna go through this um, there's not enough sound because I can't get the sound to work, um, but it's fine. <coughs> so right here, she's turning to Black Cat. Um, I used a lot of characters from the Daily Bugle. She's just like transforming, that's how they transform. Here, this wasn't clear, but she's at a bank. I reused the Daily Bugle and I put like a gem right there and she's, she's stealing a gem. Right here, Michael's talking uh, to Jim about, like, where's Pam? Like, you're dating her, you're married to her, so you should know where she is. And he's like, I don't know where she is. Right here, he's getting a call from um, the police station that someone, that Black Cat has just robbed the bank. Um, and he he's Spider-Man, so he's going to get, like, all dressed up in a Spider-Man uniform and go save the day. All right now he's saying I gotta go. Right here he tells her to like unmask herself and then he sees that it's Pam. So then he unmasks himself, and the cops start coming, and then they they go up to escape from the police because he doesn't want Pam to get arrested. Right here I made a mistake because the gem was not on the ground, but she left the gem and he was like, oh, a piece of evidence. And he's calling for like backup over here. He says, I need backup. And um in the third one or the second one I think, um, there's his backup police officer with him. Okay, and that was the end of that one. Please stop. Um channel content. Let me go to the next video what's going on <clears throat> hold on it's, it's being slow um 
part two. Oh, this part got like deleted. Like I had it already recorded, but then I it deleted like two times because like I um was trying to like move it, but then it deleted itself. That was like. I copied it, then I deleted it, and then I realized that I couldn't copy it. So then I had I had recreated it, and then my phone broke. So then I had to recreate it again. Um, but I think that this one is better than the first one. But I originally created. Right here, he's saying... Um, Michael saying, does anyone know where um, Pam and Jim are? That I, um, and then Stanley says, I let them leave. Or no, he, that Michael let them leave. And then um, Stanley, or uh, Dwight's saying right here, can I have um, Jim's desk for Mega Desk if he doesn't come back? Just a little... Um, reference to the actual show he does like this mega desk thing with uh jim's desk right here he's letting them leave early because stanley says why why don't you ever let me leave early and he's saying here i could let you guys leave like five minutes early they're coming back in from um the alleyway then she knocks him out and then disguises herself as Jim and takes his Spider-Man suit. And actually, here, she she looks different, like, from the actual Spider-Man suit. Um, this is the actual Spider-Man suit, and obviously it, it looks different from what she's wearing now because it looks different on everyone. Hair to look more like Jim, and she tied him up to like for the police to see. Then she's saying, "Um, like, do I get out of my desk pretending to be Jim?" And then Michael saying, "Hey Pam, or hey Jim, like I I told you that you could because the day before, um, when uh Jim left to go." like get in his spider-man outfit and go take down the bad guy which is black cat um michael said that he could that he could only leave for like half a day or something but like not the entire day that's what he's basically saying here and she's basically or yeah pam's going in and saying like uh dwight took my desk and that's what that is Right here, the police are over here, and he and Michael saying, like, Jim, or not Jim, Dwight gave Jim's desk back, and by that time, he already gave it back. Um, and then they're asking if they could search the place, because they saw that, like, Black Cat might have come came back there. And he's saying, yeah, sure, go ahead. This scene where they run was, like, a little bit rushed. But yeah, that's that's what that is, and they're carrying Jim to the um the what's it called the jail. Um, let's go to part three. Right here, um, the, J, uh, Angela is breaking up with Dwight because he killed her cat in the freezer. Um, little reference to what actually happened in the show. So I'm not like completely going away from the show, um, but like I'm keeping some things in. He's like cruising, he's typing, and 
Michael's going to fire him right here. He's firing him because he's like, um, me and David Wallace were talking, and David Wallace is a character from the show. Me and David Wallace were talking, and um, we decided that it was either going to be you or Jim that we were going to fire, and we just decided that it was going to be you because of like the Megadeth thing tomorrow. He's like, and Dwight says, like, oh, Jim's not even here right now. But he's like, leave, go. Um, these talking scenes may seem short, but I'm going to make them longer when I get voice actors. I know that there are people that want to be voice actors for this, but I, it's my fault because I don't have the, I just don't really want to make, um, the scripts right now because I'm lazy. He's packing up his stuff. He's leaving. This is at his house. Oh, little um thing here. It says Dwigs. Um, usually in his name he has a H, I think, between the um eight the G and the T. So it spells Dwigged. Um, that's a reference to the show again, where they like misspelled his name and like this play or something like they're reading out like the threat level med the threat level midnight script and his name was uh spelled as this <clears throat> cheating pizza oh um this part is um j jonah jameson from the daily Beagle is hiring um dwight to be a camera person, just like Peter Parker was, and just like um, Eddie Brock was, he like was taking pictures, I guess, over at the um, place where Venom was at, where Venom was hanging out, and Venom got him. So that's exactly what's gonna happen to him. Well, not exactly. So he's saying like, when can you come in? And they hang up. So basically, he's telling him like how a camera works and where he wants him to go. Here, he was taking pictures, and then this old lady was screaming like, "Come help me! Come help me! I'm having a heart attack!" And then it was all a distraction because Venom got to him. DB Jail. Um, that's a reference to a YouTuber. Um, because he made like a jail video. Um, I will leave his channel down below, but, um, I, for I forgot what his channel's called. Um, I'll, I'll link it though. It's something D, something B. Jim, this is Jim, and he's at the prison now. He's, like, trying to get out, then he starts, like, digging. Oh, if nobody noticed here... There's two things. So this, this is like the, like smoke detector things or something, um, that like Toby was giving out, and um, yeah, that's something. And there's a phone right there, um, and then there's Dwight's name plate right there, um. I'm pulling something from the set. But that that shiny piece right there, it's right there. It's 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 next to the phone. And he's going he goes into like this weapons room and then he gets the black cat suit. Um and he becomes well his own version of Black Cat, which is the Punisher. This is meant to look like remotely like the Punisher. Now, this is Pam, and she's like um, dressed up as her own like Spider Man, but like she's like making her suit evil now. 
that stock brown and man i just love including him um and basically she's like oh yeah like um this scene like really fast hold on so that is a character that that's a mix of um a character from the new black panther movie and the um avatar movie his hair is like from the avatar movie his whole character is from the um what do you call it the uh black panther movie he's like the chief and he has uh thor's like stormbreaker um and he's basically like oh thank god you're here spider man or woman um like save me from this guy and she's like Nope, I'm gonna put you in the trash can. Then she, a cop like tries to stop her, but then she like ties up his hands in spider web. And he's just walking down an alleyway, and then Jen's just walking down an alleyway. Then he sees um, Dwight, and he's like, Dwight, what are you doing here? He's like, Jim, I would like to meet to introduce you to my friend. Boom, Venom pops out. And he goes back in and transforms his whole um body into Venom. This is um actually not like just Venom, but it's a combination of like Dwight and Venom. So it's like businessman Venom. He's shooting him. And this is actually supposed to, like, represent, like, back to my, like, not my first, because it, it wasn't my first stop motion, but, it, like, it was my first stop motion that I posted on YouTube, where Carnage and the Punisher fought. That's, that's what that's supposed to be. He's choking them, and then he shoots him, gets away. And then basically Pam comes up behind him and he's, and she says like, "Hey, you want to team up on me with um? Hey, you want to team up with me on um, Spider Man?" And he's like, "Sure." Oh, also, not Spider Man, but um, Jim, because that's that's just Jim. And Dwight's mad at Jim because like he. Fire, he got him fired, I guess, like all, from all of his antics. Because, like, all of his antics made it, like, seem like he wasn't working, but he was just trying to deal with Jim. Um, right here, they're calling him up. They're calling uh, Jim to come up on the top of the building. And throughout this whole thing, um, Pam has a, like, a mean face. And right here, they change back into their suits. He gives him the, um, crap, we gotta go back. He gives him the, uh, he gives her the, uh, black cat suit, and the, she gives him the Spider-Man suit. And she's still mad. She's like, now, do it now. And now he's like, the, he got the Venom to go into uh, Spider-Man. Because at the first, Venom wanted to like take over Spider-Man. And basically here, this is the part that my friend said they didn't understand. So basically, um... Let's go in order here. That's the Punisher right there. Then there's Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Then um, his name Miles Morales Spider Man, and then Spider Pig, Spider Ham. And basically, what's going on here is he's like he in the Carnage versus the Punisher. Uh, my Spider Man Miles Morales saved um. The Punisher from Carnage, and he like gathered a team, 
and now he's gonna save um Spider-Man from Venom. So he like blows like a horn, cause in the movie I think that they ring like a huge bell, and they get it out of him like from noise, and then Venom goes away. Then he talks to him. Then Dwight runs away. Then she comes over, and she's actually she has a smile on her face, and I had no other way how to I had no other way to like symbolize this, but she's actually like. You outnumbered me, and I want to, like, be a good person. And she's going to become from, like, a villain to an anti-hero to, like, a full hero. Um, yeah. That's basically what that is. So, yeah. Um, so, thank you for everybody tuning in to this video. Um, that was the full explanation. Um, hopefully everyone gets it now. Um, yeah.